We really live in a connected world these days. We have smart devices everywhere. Our Apple Watches, Ring doorbells, our Teslas. Okay, well, I don't have a Tesla, but you get my point. The internet of things is the present and the future. And there's a great case to be made as for why IoT and blockchain fit together like peanut butter and jelly. But unfortunately, there's no great solution for that match made in heaven yet, or is there? Well, in this sponsored video, I want to introduce you to IOTEX, a blockchain platform that's tailor-made for the internet of things. Oh, and by the way, their token IOTX rocketed almost 7X after the Coinbase listing in August. So if any of this sounds interesting to you, then strap in my friend and let's roll the intro. First, do you understand how big of an opportunity the Internet of Things is? Yes, I know it sounds like a meaningless buzzword, but we have over 25 billion connected devices today, with over 100 billion projected by 2025. In the old days, our refrigerators and thermostats would be dumb, aka they just sit there and do their job. But nowadays, they are connected via the Internet, so they can communicate with each other, provide a more tailored experience, and operate more efficiently. This is amazing for us end users, but it also opens the door to new problems, like hackers. They are overjoyed that there are so many different devices they can target these days. Just look at this case where millions of webcams and baby monitors were exposed due to a vulnerability in their underlying platform. So there's an urgent need for better technology when it comes to the IoT space. I mean, IOTA was supposed to be the solution for the machine economy slash IoT space. And I used to be a huge fan of theirs and drank the Kool-Aid hard, but alas, they were all fluff and still haven't delivered after five years of delays and pivoting. And now they're building some strange new architecture with blockchains in their Tangle? Seems to me like they shouldn't even be using the Tangle anymore, but are stuck doing so because it's been promised to the communities as part of their marketing for so long. Anyways, I'm not gonna focus too much on IOTA here. This is a video about IOTEX after all. But if you wanna hear more about why I gave up on IOTA, then you should watch my video about that topic after this one. So we can see that this opportunity is real and IOTEX seems to be a strong contender. They are live already after all. They've been live for two and a half years actually. They've built a decentralized ecosystem for smart devices that is not only scalable, but also privacy preserving, which is one of their key value propositions. So for the rest of this video, let's dive into this fascinating project that's been flying under the radar for quite a while, but maybe not much longer because of all the moves they've been making. We'll start with some key stats, then check out their impressive adoption, and then end with some tips on how you can get started if you like them. Sounds good? Let's go. First, let's look at some stats to see just how powerful and fast they are. Boom, right here. This table compares IOTEX with BSC and Ethereum. As you can see, IOTEX supports around 3,000 transactions per second, reaches finality in under five seconds, and is so cheap that their transactions cost like fractions of a cent. So with just $1, you can send thousands of transactions, and that is necessary for the Internet of Things because you have machines coordinating with each other constantly. IOTEX can do all of this because they made their very own proof of stake consensus protocol called Rolled DPoS. And you know what's impressive? They are already fully decentralized. They don't have a central coordinator, and they've never faced a network shutdown before. Heck, they even say that they can't shut it down even if they wanted to because of how their system is designed. But enough about the tech. Let's talk adoption, because that's what matters at the end of the day. And in that area, IOTEX is super impressive. They've built a blockchain-based home security camera called UCAM, which is powered by their platform. That device actually won the CES Innovation Award in 2020 under the cybersecurity and privacy category, which is quite impressive since that is a huge tech event. It's not some random conference. You had big names like Samsung, LG, and HP winning some of those other categories. And the best part is you can actually buy one right now if you wanted to. It's only $60 and it's incredibly secure with their blockchain-based login, end-to-end -end encryption, and edge computing architecture. They also have this cool device called the Pebble, which is a powerful sensor that can capture data like temperature, light, location, motion, and more. They designed it to be tamper-proof on both the hardware and software sides. And the cool part is that this device is actually a platform that you can build dApps on top. 
During their India hackathon, there were hundreds of teams building projects that utilize Pebble. And some of those may morph into actual apps that businesses or consumers can use with their device. This is all coming real soon, by the way. They are targeting a mid-November rollout for all buyers. Anyways, my overarching takeaway here is that they have real devices and a ready-to-go platform, which is always good to see for any project in the crypto world. There's more though. I mean, yes, IOTEX is tailor-made for connected devices, but they are also a flexible platform, which means they don't only have to be for IoT stuff. You can do a lot of the traditional blockchain stuff on there too. For example, they have a growing DeFi ecosystem with their MIMO DEX, which is similar to Uniswap or SushiSwap. They also have a cross-chain bridge called IOTube that supports Ethereum and BSC assets with more integrations to come. They also have NFT games like Star Crazy, which is a play-to-earn game very similar to Axie Infinity. And since it's built on IOTEX, you can play without having to worry about fees, speed, and so on. But even beyond the crypto space, we see IOTEX's technology powering a supply chain logistics tool that's just been contracted by the United States Navy. That's pretty impressive, and it will use their Pebble device and their decentralized ID solution as well. Oh, and there's Health Blocks, a digital healthcare product that's targeted for beta launch in around November. And as you might have guessed it, they'll use IOTEX's platform for their solution. So taking a step back here, we see that IOTEX is not only expanding in the IoT space, but also with DeFi, NFTs, supply chains, and a bunch of other verticals. They are becoming a legit player in the crypto space, one that other networks want to proactively connect with. Like right here with their Polygon bridge that enables cross-chain token swaps. In fact, if you want to see everything that's going on in IOTEX land, you can go here to the ecosystem page on the website. Or here on DAP Radar, they have a brand new IOTEX filter you can click on and see all the stats for their apps that are running on IOTEX and how they grow over time. For such a young project, this is quite a lot of progress. And people in the crypto community are definitely starting to notice. If we go to their Lunar Crush page and change to the three month view, you can see their social volume, engagement, and all those other stats up by triple digits percentage wise. That's always good to see when a project gets organic buzz, which noticeably increased after the launch on Coinbase in early August. All right, so that's what I wanted to share about their accomplishments and adoption. But if your curiosity is piqued and you think this project is promising, then here's some next steps of what you should do next. First, you can start at their website, iotex.io slash start, which I'll link you down below. You can watch some of their intro videos if you wanna learn more about their project and how it works. And then you can follow them on social media and subscribe to their newsletter to get a free NFT from them. All you need to do to claim it is just download their IOPay wallet to store your free NFT. I actually have their wallet already and I'm staking a few dollars worth of IOTX just to try it out. It's pretty easy and they have over 35,000 stakers so far, earning around 11% annual yield on their IOTX tokens. If that yield is too little for you, you can also go crazy and farm on ZoomSwap with IOTX and Zoom for over 1,300% APY right now. Of course, that has its own risks and it's definitely only for the yield degens out there that know what they're doing. But besides that, you can navigate in their wallet to the dApps section and access their dApps easily from there. Like I clicked on Star Crazy and you can play their flagship game from there. You see, there's so much you can do in their ecosystem right now. No need to wait for things to get built based on flimsy promises. Anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts and questions about IOTEX and what they're doing in the IoT and blockchain space. I'm Kevin from Coinsider. I can't wait to see you on the next one and cheers.